Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you really like this video because I know you guys like the Primark video, so let's do a Primark video. So if you guys have like been subscribed for ages or if you just generally watch my videos you all know like I've done a lot of like prime like just testing like single products and I know you guys really like them because you always get like really good like um, response from them so I was like why don't I just do a full face so I have been to Primark today and I have bought a full face of Primark makeup and it literally it didn't even come to a lot to, to be fair I've like I already had a highlighter and the lips from previous videos that I stick to and I absolutely love so I've included them so I didn't have to buy them I think it came to about £20 I bought even like eyelashes and stuff so I'm really excited so if you want to see this video then carry on watching and also excuse like my body to face ratio I have fake tan but if you guys saw my last video and my fake tan was really bad on my neck it's looking a lot better now do you think do you think? I think. Um, so yeah, carry kind on of watching. So I have literally just put on my hair back. Oh my god, literally, my like spots are like so bad at the moment. I think it's coming to the time of the month. I always get really bad spots. To be fair, this is really good so we can like proper test out the foundation and stuff and see if it's good, if it can cover these bad boys. Um, because it's your have spots over time, probably every video I, I have spots. So let's get started. So the first thing that I bought was this primer water and I think, where's the price on this? I think this was two pound. Um, I've never used primer water before, I've always just used normal primer. So it just says prep skin for makeup application, silicone free, alcohol free, oil free, hydrate and refresh it. So that just tries on the face and see if it's any good. So it's, oh there we go, oh it's quite, ooh, it's quite like a good mist. Yeah, I feel like refreshed. There's some strobing cream. No, it's highlighted cream I bought ages ago and it's called Champagne. Um, so I'm going to use a stippling brush and I'm just going to put this all around my face. Ooh, all around my face. Ooh. Oh, that probably wasn't even in focus because none of my stuff's ever in focus. Oh, sorry, like that was just a bust. Oh my God, can you guys see? I feel like I look like a sort of tin man like oh my, this just like literally looks horrendous imagine if I just full on went out looking like this like hi guys I'm ready for the party I like this is like highlighter highlighter extreme here I mean I mean, I like it. I mean, it really patches and blends with my tan. Looking real, real good. So next, we'll go in with the foundation. So this they had quite a few foundations, but I wanted this was I bought the cheapest one, so I always keep it on a budget because I if you like going to buy Primark, yeah, that just escaped. If you're going to buy Primark makeup, like you don't really want to spend it too much. Um, especially if you just want to test it out. So I bought the cheapest one, which was two pound fifty. So let's just let's just sort of have a little story time here. This was the darkest shade in there. So I bought this because obviously I'm tanned. So I really want my face to match my body because I'm actually really pale. But but when I'm tanned, I could get a dark foundation. So this was the darkest one in there, and this is shade light beige. Where, where are all the other shades? Literally, I'm not even joking, where are all the other shades? Like, maybe they do have darker shades and maybe the darker shades wasn't in my store. But still, in every store you should have your whole selection of shades. Literally. Like, where are all your other shades? I don't even get it. Maybe, I don't know. If you guys know if they do darker shades than light beige, please comment down below because I'm literally just like, what? And over. So this is my perfect colour, perfect finish foundation, medium coverage, semi-matte fin uh, semi finish with vitamin E. 
Um, I, because obviously you can see all the many friends I have on my face right now, I usually get high coverage, um, but in having high coverage, so we got medium coverage. So let's see how this goes. Literally, <laughs> that's so funny. So this is like all the foundation blended into my skin. Um, I know it did say it was medium coverage, so you can tell it hasn't sort of covered all of the redness or anything. Um, but it did say medium coverage, so I can't really complain. Literally, my face looks so shiny. I can't get over that. So guys, this was the darkest shade in my store. yeah um so i'm kind of like it's not too bad i think for two pound fifty it's really good but it's really shiny and i suppose if you don't need the coverage like i need my coverage then i think this would be like really good but um just for my skin i just don't think because i need the coverage or maybe if i tried it with a concealer underneath or something i really don't think it's too bad for two pound fifty i mean get my shades love but yeah, I don't think it's actually too bad. We have to like remember with all these products, they are like really cheap. So um, next we're gonna go in with concealer. So, concealer is the only thing I don't have because the concealers they had in there, they had like the stick one, to which I don't really use the stick anyway. I usually use like liquid, they didn't have them. But anyway, all of the concealers, like the stick ones, they'd all been used. Like I hate that, like I hate that about Primark. Like I know it's not Primark's fault, but um, literally, when you ever go shopping for Primark makeup, is it just me or just my star? My star, basically, yeah. Or is it just like the star I go into? Like every, like most things, like you go and pick up something, like, oh, I want this. And then you look at it and it's been like someone's prodded their finger into it. And you're just like, no, like, I'm not gonna. Because there is like testers in Primark, like just stick to the testers where you have to open like literally everything. So I can never find it. Um, so yeah, basically all the concealers have been open. I was like, I don't really want to put my face. So um, instead, we're just going to be going in the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C3. Because um, this is really cheap as well. It's only £4. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this. I'm actually shook how good this foundation is like I mean it's not like it doesn't work miracles but like, I just it's just like I'm thinking about the price of £2.50 like it's so so good and actually like considering it's not full coverage it didn't do a bad job of trying to cover up my blemishes like it's really good so I definitely think this is probably one of my favourite so far even though I've literally put like three products on my face anyway um but literally like the smell all i can smell this is the foundation it's like grandma smell it's like um sort of grandma soap perfume kind of smell if you guys know what that like not, not a bad smell but literally got a really strong scent of that so next um we're gonna go in with powder because they didn't have any sort of cream contour products that i could find um so i got some powder and this was only two pound and i got this in they didn't really have many shades of color i usually like to get like the translucent the translucent they didn't have any translucent so this was the only sort of what I could get that was close to my colour and this is in the colour nude and it is just loose minimal powder with medium coverage and oil free that's good because I've got really oily face so it should be good on my skin so I'm just going to put this on oh yeah it defo has a colour I've actually never worn a sort of um, a powder with a colour usually I just get them no powder with colour, like a powder with coverage. Or oh, maybe I have maybe I just haven't noticed. I feel like you can't really go wrong with powder though, like it's quite hard to go wrong. And my foundation is definitely a lot lighter than my tan, but whatever. When my fake tan comes off it might look really cute. So yeah the powder is decent 
as I said, like, you can't really go wrong with it. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to move on to the eyebrow product. So, they have, like, quite a few eyebrow products in there. Um, so, I got this one. This one is £2. And this is the Sculpt and Fix Duo Brow Gel Crayon. So, it's got a brow gel on one side and crayon on the other. I'm not even joking. It, it, this is, did I say it was £2? But it's £2 anyway, if you guys, if I didn't say it. Um... This one, they only had one colour which is light brown, this is like literally the only colour they had. Like I was looking at the back and everything to try and find like other colours but they didn't. Because usually, I don't know why I'm blonde, but usually like I tend to go for darker brows. But on one side we have this sort of, I've never ever tried anything like this before. I've only ever tried pencil, powder and pomade. Um, and then we have a gel on the other side. Ooh very i don't know what you do first what do you do first do you gel your eyebrows or do you crown them in let's crown them in so this color is very warm let's actually see how much product we get in this that much product so yeah it's two pounds you, you can't really come um, but anyway, I really like the product, but I don't like the colour. So I just put the brow gel in. I never, ever, 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 ever use brow gel, so I won't know if it's a good brow gel or if it's a bad, um, or if it's a bad one. I've just never used it. I don't know why. Should I? Do you guys use brow gel? Oh god, it's getting the product everywhere. Um, but I think the brow gel. I think it's like a thing like powder, like where you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, it's just brow gel. Um, so I'm going to quickly go do the other brow and then, yeah, we'll crack on. So this brow has gone a bit disastrous, but I like, I'm just really bad at brows. That's probably, probably why. So let's move on from brows because I just, I can't do them. I, it's like, the, I think that is the thing I hate the most about makeup is brows. Like brows, I just, I dread doing them. Like, I dread. Like, I like doing makeup. I really enjoy doing makeup in the morning. Or like going wherever I'm going. But I just hate doing brows. Like, I just hate them. I just dread it. Literally just dread it. Um, so next we will go on to eyes. Like my eyes, I've actually got this kit. Um, this is the metallic eye collection. I got this in the colour bronze and it was only £3. And it comes with a metallic eyeshadow, cream eyeliner, an eyeliner pencil, sorry, and a precision applicator. I've just taken it out of the box and it comes like this. And I'll just show you like a normal eyeshadow. So the reason why I didn't pick a normal eyeshadow is because I've already got this that I've actually done in another video. If you guys are interested in this, it's like way back on my channel, I do a review on this. Um, and Primark did have more eyeshadows, but literally, if you guys have seen me review this, that there is so much fallout. Like, literally, this palette was so cheap, but it had too much fallout. I was like, I can't be bothered. Ah, I can't be bothered for that. So that's why I have decided to get this sort of kit instead with the cream eye, the palette eyeshadow and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to take this, because I say it was £3, so I'm going to take the cream out and show you guys. It just says metallic eyeshadow cream on the top, and it's just like that. Should we just do a little swatch? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is it. Um, it's really, really, really pretty. Um, and it also comes with this precision brush. And this is almost like an eyebrow pencil brush. It's really, like, sharp. And then it also comes with a eyeliner if you guys can see i just do it also it's like a brownie eyeliner if you guys can see that's like really creamy so they had a few other colors um of this they had like a graphite uh, brownie color but i thought bronzy was the best for the look that i am creating so i literally every time i look in the mirror i cannot get over how bad my eyebrows are and how my body is so different to my face like that is just that is just ridiculous oh guys can you see that that's like really really pigmented these are really nice oh my okay i put too much of my brush there but these are gorgeous 
I might have to go into the eyeshadow palette that I wasn't going to go into because obviously it just looks really harsh like this so I'm going to have to try and blend it brownie colour and then just put it, pack it onto my brush by the way this is the eye candy oh, I cannot be bothered with the fallout literally if you guys can see the fallout already I'm just going to put it onto my brush and now I'm just going to try and blend it in the crease it doesn't look as sort of like harsh you guys um like this we don't like the color they have loads of other colors but bronze was just what i would wear more often but i think i might go back and get a few more of these this i think this is my favorite product so far so we also got the eyeliner with it it's just like a cream i don't really know let's just try um and put it would it go on top so if you guys can see the eyeliner is just a tiny bit darker i'm just going to do under eye now So next I have some mascara and this is just £2. They had three different mascaras. They had one waterproof which I just stuck away from because I just, I just don't like waterproof stuff. It's just too hard to get off. Um, and then they had another one. It was like eye contouring, no, eyelash contouring. I was like, yeah, don't really care for that, whatever that is. And this is just intense black lengthening, full volume, iconic. Can you get it? Iconic. This is like the eye, it's actually like an iconic. So yeah, this is £2 and the packaging is really cute. It really reminds me of like the Maybelline sort of mascaras. So let's just whip the ooh, that's a weird brush. Um, I'm gonna put this on. Ooh, it's proper. To be fair, like I have really I don't really have good um eyelashes. But if you have really good eyelashes this would be really good but it's actually I'm really impressed and like I wanted to get out this whole like stuff like mascara and stuff that I could buy like that I'd actually really like sort of paying like to be fair I don't I always get drugstore mascara usually so I'm paying like £10 for it £10 still still some dollar I mean I'd rather be spending £2 if you guys know what i mean and i think it's like doing quite a decent job considering that i don't have the best eyelashes um, i think it looked really nice if i maybe curled my eyelashes but um when i was looking for this mascara well not for this one when i was looking at oh it's doing the bottom really nicely i think i found a decent mascara here um anyway so when i was looking at the mascaras though i heard these like ladies who were looking at this silver one that I'm using now and they were like um so and so has been telling me about this mascara and she said it was like really good so I was like oh that must be good then so I picked it up and I you know what I really liked I really really like it um and this was only two pound there was actually one that was four pound but because I was buying so much I didn't really want to get pay it out for the more expensive one obviously I had to buy a full face um I'm actually like really really impressed by that mascara like really impressed because I am um, what am I using at the moment I'm using I like this baby roll and I like the benefit um the real whatever it's called I like that one as well and I'm using them currently at the moment so if I can like save some money and just pay £2 yeah I, I'm not gonna complain I really really like that and we're putting it on falsies anyway but if you guys want a cheap mascara get this if you want nice metallic eyes get this I'm actually still shook I love like the whole eye look um let's share about the eyebrows though is there like a massive streak there of just my eyebrow but i'm not even gonna touch the eyebrows because i don't like the eyebrows so we have got some falsies but yeah i'm gonna put the false on now so we have the gwa ones i've actually purchased these ones before but I didn't get them in this style. Now I know Primark do their own one, which is one pound, but I've purchased them as well ages ago. And they were just 
they were just sort of straight. I just didn't like them. So instead of you, I'm gonna get you guys to save your money, and instead of buying the horrible one pound ones, I was like, I may as well show you these ones. Um, if you guys have seen my last Primark haul, um, which was on like about three or four videos ago, I bought the five pound ones. They were the Sosu ones, and I really, really like them. But um, they're five pound. So these ones are three pounds. So it's like me in the middle between the really cheap ones and then the so-so ones. But these actually still look really, really good. Um, so I'm looking at mascara all over my hand. I'm like full of mess that one up. So I've got these in the style fantasy. Um, and these come with the glue as well. Look how pretty the case is. It has like unicorns at the end of it. It's all like galaxy. Do you guys remember like, oh my gosh. Do you guys remember when like galaxy sort of stuff was all in? What was it like? Um, so this is the glue by the way. Was it hype? Do you guys remember the brand hype? I swear they had all like galaxy stuff. I remember like my this girl like, I used to work with, like one of my first ever jobs. She used to wear it all the time and I remember she was so excited because she owned this um, hype rucksack and it was all galaxy like that with like cat's heads on it cat's heads like this cat's face is sorry yeah i don't know why i brought that up but yeah that's what it reminds me of so i'm just gonna apply the eyelashes on the band if you guys can see it's like a clear band eh, band so that's really useful so you just put the eyelashes down just for the dry uh, the glue's dry and instead of me just waiting i just thought i'd carry on and wait i like to like um wait for the glue dry for quite a long time i used to wait for about 30 seconds but now i like leave it like a good couple of minutes like just want to get minutes minutes sorry because i just want to get like really really tacky so it's easier for me to apply them but for like highlight not highlight the contour and bronzer and stuff i bought this palette now this i think there's a whole collection of this it's like chocolate they do like eyeshadows and everything um, so I got this palette and it was £4 and the packaging is really cute, really reminds me of Too Faced and the other one, what's the other one in Superdrug? Uh, free, no, it's not Freedom, is it Freedom? No it's not Freedom, is it I Love Me, I Heart Makeup? Yeah the packaging really reminds me of those brands, so inside, yeah it's £4, I don't know if I keep repeating the price, I can never remember but anyway it's £4, so inside we have a highlight, a golden highlight. I'm not actually going to use this highlight because I've got another palette for highlight. Oh, can we just discuss how cute the packaging is? Then we have a chocolate orange, which I'm going to use as a contour shade. Then we've got milk chocolate, which I'm going to use as a bronzer shade. They're all sort of shimmery. And then we have a blush shade. I really like this. The only thing is like the pans are so small. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit my brush in them. Probably not. I'm actually just going to swatch the highlight now and see how good it is. Oh, that's really pretty and glittery. Maybe I'll put that under like my um, eyelids because I really want to use my other highlight palette that I have. So I'm just going to go in with this one. It's called Vanilla Cream with my brush. And then we're going to just put that on there. There's a lot of kickback. And I'm just going to put it under my brow bone. Oh, it's quite like subtle, but it's giving me a little something something. I'm going to go in with chocolate orange to, no, we'll go in with milk chocolate to try and bronze up the face and try and get the face looking a bit more matchy matchy to their body. I literally cannot get over like those colours because literally, and this is the darkest colour that doesn't even match my face tan. What is that about? So literally, look how big my brush is and how small the pan is. It's literally tiny. So I'm gonna have to, there's a lot of kickback. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. So I'm just gonna try and bronze up my face. Did that do anything? You could, Can you guys see the shimmer in there? Think of, something I've noticed about the foundation now, it's like sunken into all of my pores, so my pores are looking like hell to the big. But as I'm gonna say again, it was £2, like you cannot, I can't complain, stop complaining, stop. 
Um, so now I'm gonna, oh, where's my contour brush? Don't know where my contour brush is. So we are gonna use my, oh, I'm gonna have to use a bronzer brush again, but I'm gonna have to taper it in a little bit with my hand. So now I'm gonna go in with the chocolate orange. I love chocolate oranges, literally, I love them. I think where everything is shimmery, I've just turned into a shimmery mess. So guys, I have obviously put on my eyelashes, but the like little inner corner here is being really, really annoying and it won't stick down. Um, and I figured out the contour literally did not work, go well because obviously my brush was huge that I was using it with. Does it look red to you? I think it just looks really red. Um, anyway, how much do eyelashes just make a difference? Literally, literally crazy. Also, if you have blue eyes, this sort of like, uh, sort of orangey brownie colors like they make your eyes pop. So if you guys have blue eyes uh, and you want your eyes to pop, use the colors. I got you, girl. Um, so now we've done this, we just go on to blush. So I actually have a proper brush this time, and then we're gonna go into strawberry melt. These ladies are so cute, and oh, I just love the love heart. So I'm just gonna pop my brush in it to that, and then we're gonna. Oh, maybe if I, I put too much on. Do I look stupid now? Do I look like a clown? It's not even bloody now. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with this. I might look stupid. I might look like a clown, but we're not judging here. We're not a judgy people. Mm. I just feel like literally all of my paws are on show to the world because. Unfortunately for me, I have like really like I can have a problem with my paws. Like I've got really, really, really big paws. Um, so this foundation is not doing anything, and everything I put on top is just sinking into my paw. Do I look like it's just a shimmery mess? Because all of that was shimmery on. Just put my face. I think the red. I think the blush is very pigmented. So I definitely used too much because I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented so obviously I put a lot on my brush. But yeah, we want red cheeks, we want red cheeks, we're just going to go with it, whatever. So next is a very, very, very exciting, it is a highlighter. These two, excuse this one, it is an absolute mess because I've had this for about over a year now. And it says you can, oh it says you can use it for 24 months, so I've got another year to go, woo! And I've got this one. Um, I've done a, a video on both. This one in my review on this. This was my most ever viewed video. So big up. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. For a small, tiny, teeny little YouTube like me. Having those sort of views. I was shook. I didn't know what I was thinking. And I also did a review on this one. And if you guys have watched that video, you guys. The packaging, gorgeous. I just didn't like it not for me at all i just i don't know why i should get along so we're not going to be using this one today we're going to be using this one this one i love so much um it's in my everyday makeup bag everyday makeup routine i wear this every day that is why it's so grim um so yeah look at those colors um and i'm only including this now because even though i did review this about a year ago um it's still in stock I'm not in stock in all stalls. I sound like a Primark. This is not sponsored, guys. Literally, it's not sponsored. I don't know why it would be sponsored because I'm a teeny tiny YouTuber. But um, this, let's just go again. This is still in shops because I've seen it. I saw it again when I bought stuff today. Um, and it's £5 and it's gorgeous. I use this every day and I get compliments on it. And I'm like, yeah, it's Primark. It's Primark. Put your sunglasses on. Put, oh my god, that scared me. It was my beauty bed and just fell on the floor. And I thought it was like some sort of rat. Yeah, put your sunglasses on, get your factor 50 out, you're gonna be blinded and you're gonna be 
burn. So if you have any haters out there, get this palette, put some stuff on and you'll be blinding those haters. So I'm going to mix it. Literally, I've already got my phone. Let me just swatch it for you guys. <gasps> have I hit pan? No, I haven't hit pan. Literally, guys, I use this every day and I haven't even hit pan yet. What is that all about? That is so good. So I'm just like swatching them. I don't know why I swatch on my arms because swatch on your arms. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. I just sort of wave my arm about and hope you can see. I don't know why I've do swatches there because I know you guys can never see. But anyway, yeah, it's cool. So I'm just going to mix those two colours together, like I said. So I should like a few swirls of that, a few swirls of that, and then I go back into that. That is the secret. Um, and then I'm just going to, I think I might go mental because I just love it. Oh, oh, oh my god. A lot of people watching this probably like, it just looks like a strip. I don't care. It's a strip of happiness. Um, but yeah, like, that is blinded. If you don't want to be a strip, you can, like, obviously blend it out and don't use as much as me. But, oh my god, I think, no, I did hit pan. That's so sad. Um, but I, oh, I just love it. I mean, that really does look like a strip now. Um, but it's so pretty. And then I just use any access and put it on access, excess. I just put it on my nose, put it on my lips. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it probably doesn't like strips, but I'm what? Literally, how pink of my cheeks. Actually, this whole contour, bronze and stuff, it's just, it's just a huge, huge mess and misunderstanding. So finally, Literally, I can't believe I'm coming to an end of this video. I feel like this video is just taken forever. It's because my memory card like gets full really easy because it's only 16 gigabytes, so I have to keep constantly pausing it. Um, so I literally I've been doing this video for about five hours. Like you guys won't think, but yeah, because I've had and then also my camera back my camera battery died and I had to refill it all the way to the top because if I don't refill it all the way to the top, my like, camera just goes off on it. I don't know, my camera's really weird. Um, so last but not least, I've also done a review on this. I didn't repurchase really any new lip products because I already had this bad boy and I love this one. So I thought it's a staple. Uh, this is like probably the best. They do, this is in the, this is actually from the same collection as the eye metallic thing. Um, um, they have this in the shop still and they've brought out a ton of new colours. It's the matte collection and also there's a metallic collection. So it's a different sort of collection but it's all the same sort of thing. It actually came with, I think it was £3 again, like the metallic eye thing. It came with a lip pencil as well but I lost it because I've had this for a while and I love this. Um, they have all different colours, reds, pinks and this is in the colour... I don't know because it doesn't say. But anyway, I love this. Um, I used to wear this all the time. I still do now really, but I sort of lost it for a while. And then I emptied out a bag today and I found it again. And I was like, good, I don't have to buy a lip product. So if I didn't like this lip product, I would have bought a new one because I love it so much. Like I didn't want to buy a new one to be rubbish. Like I know this one's really good. So we're gonna put on our lips. Like literally look at the pigment on that, like you don't, this is when I get lipstick all over my teeth. Like cause you know like with some really cheap products, you have to like go over it, this is like full on good coverage. So guys, that is it, I have just put the lips on. I have drawn on my lips really bad, I don't know why. Um, but whatever, forget about it. The lip product is actually already matte now. This lip product is absolutely incredible. And for the price, three pounds, like you cannot complain. I have this up there with my Kat Von D of 100 Beauty Liquid Lipstick. That's what I'm saying, that is all I'm saying. So that is it. I really actually really like this makeup look. Like other than the fact that obviously the foundation is not the best, but it's really good for two pounds fifty and then the contour and stuff all went wrong. I really like this look and obviously the eyebrows because... So I'm just gonna go through everything and tell you what I liked and didn't like. So first we had the spray, primer spray. I don't really know if it's done anything. I don't really know what it was gonna do, but it was kind of cute and aesthetic. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. 
but I can live without it. Um, the foundation was next. Um, really good for £2.50. If you didn't have problem skin like mine, I think it would be really good. Um, I probably would use the foundation again, but with a different primer to obviously cover my pores a little bit more. And I'll use it with like some concealer underneath. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, if I use it with the right product, I think I could get away with it. I mean, it's just £2.50. And also, I have to be pale to use that foundation because obviously it doesn't match my skin colour. But apart from that, yeah, whatever. Next, concealer. I didn't have any concealer because I had to use the Makeup Revolution one. Um, the powder, yeah, I'm going to use the powder again. I didn't really see a problem with it. Oh, I actually forgot this stuff, the shiro bin. Yeah, you can definitely see some sort of glow in my face. I don't know if that's because all the shimmery stuff I put on it. Um, that was kind of cute. Don't really need it. Probably will use it again though. Um, the powder, yeah, can't really go wrong with powder. And after that, eyebrows. Oh god, I'm just really rubbish at eyebrows. Um, I don't know if it was a product on me. It probably was me. So the eyebrow was probably really good. I'll see if any of my friends want it and I can give it to. Um, and then what was after that? I think it was the eyes. Absolutely love the eyes. Even the eyeshadows played nice today. They didn't go all funny on me. Um, but the eyeliner didn't really care much for, but it came with the metallic um, eyeshadow cream, the metallic eyeshadow cream. If you want to get anything, that is probably a star that I would highlight out. Really good. Then we go to the mascara. Also, I think I have found a new mascara here. I think that is going to be one of my everyday makeup products, along with the eyeshadow cream. Um, so I think I'm going to get when I finish my regular ones I'm using that, I'm going to be onto that because that was just amazing. It was £2. Um, after that, what did we do? The eyelashes, really like the eyelashes for £3. Then I'm going to put a star on that. They're going to be my everyday as well. Um, then after that, what did we use? The sort of palette. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to say a no. It was just too shimmery for me. Um, I just don't think it worked well. But I think it could work well. I just don't think I use it very well. Um, but it was still, it was still, you know, usable. Um, after that, we had obviously the highlight. Um, that is another star. If you, I'm gonna say that is another thing to buy. So I just absolutely love that. It's been a love for mine for ages. I use it every day. Then the lips. Also, I'm gonna have another star. I don't even know what the star means. If I said a star next to it, it means. It's been my, one of my favourites and if you want to buy anything from this whole thing I've done then those same products are my favourite and they're what I think you should buy. Yeah, so the lips again with a star. I absolutely love the lips. This art oh, is just beautiful. I even love the colour. They had so many colours if you guys are not into this sort of colour. But these are just so amazing and they're matte and oh, I just absolutely love them. So that is it guys, I hope you have really enjoyed the haul, you've seen me gone from a very spotty mess to a very shimmery but cool mess. Um, so I've really enjoyed this, I've loved doing this haul because I have found some staple products that I'm going to have in my makeup bag. <gasps> I'm so excited. So that is it guys, I'm so thankful for you guys coming. Um, please give this video a like if you liked it and please subscribe if you want to see some more of me. Um, if you really like this video, I'm going to say subscribe because my next video is going to be another full face testing video, but it's going to be with another brand, which is even cheaper than Primark. I'm going to let you guys decide. If you guys know, well, think you know which uh, brand I'm going to try next, um, comment down below. My clue is that it's even cheaper than Primark, and Primark's pretty cheap. Um, so stay in tune for that because that'll be very exciting as well. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.